they didn't keep us safe. They made a choice not to keep us safe. And that, that to me is, it makes me angry, it makes me sad, it makes me frustrated, and it makes me wonder why? Why would you not want to keep your nurses safe and your healthcare people safe? Well, I was working in the psych emergency department and I was, um, I was coming on to my shift. Uh, I worked evening shifts and um, there was a patient that had been um, interviewed by the daytime nurse and um, he had been seen the day before and discharged so they didn't feel the need for him to be there. He got kicked out of his shelter and was there because I believe he wanted some place to stay. Um, a lot of drugs and alcohol. So I called him over to sit and in the facility that we have, he would sit in a chair that was about an arm's length away. Um, there was no security guards, there was no uh, barriers of any kind, so he was like right here. And so I said, you know, how are you doing today? I introduced myself and told him that, you know, um, I know that you were just here yesterday and did something different happen that you needed to be seen today. And he got up and started punching me in the face. And um, I, f I fell on my side and hit my head on the wall and he was on top of me, hitting me in the back of the head. And um, there's something really interesting that happened, and I don't know if I was unconscious or if your body just has this reaction of, I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't, I couldn't hear anything that was going on behind me. And I said to myself, am I screaming? please let me be screaming so that someone hears me. I had lots of tests and I was, um, I had a broken nose and bruises and um, all over the place. And um, like I said, I don't know if I lost consciousness or not. Um, sometimes I think yes, sometimes I think no, I don't know. But, um, but not until a couple weeks later did I realized that my brain just wasn't working right. I just couldn't think the way I used to think. My, my balance was off. My, my ability to think clearly about all kinds of things. And when you're an emergency room nurse, you know how to do that. You know how to think fast, do things fast, make quick decisions. And I couldn't do that anymore. And so I just kept thinking, you know, it's gonna get better. It's just gotta get better. Because this was my dream to be a nurse. Forever this was my dream. I'm a totally different person than I was. I have turned into being a patient. On my chart it says depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, and a traumatic brain injury. Those are the things I have now because of this. This was so preventable. When I tell people that there is no security guard at this hospital, they're appalled. They're absolutely appalled. How could there not be a security guard sitting right there when you're working in a psych emergency department? That's crazy. And everybody thinks that, except the people that have, are the decision-making people. So if enough people get together and talk about this and make a statement, and I know that Jeff had tried to get a lot of people to talk about this, and they don't want to talk about it because they work there. There's people that work in these, and they're afraid to lose their job. I, however, am not afraid of that, <laughs> and, and I get to be the voice.